in this draft. And speaking of, speaking of this seven draft, round mock, here we go. Let's, let's, get, let's get into our seven round mock for the Las Vegas Raiders as we continue to rebuild this group for 2023. For our viewers, uh, we, we talked about it. I want to make sure that you can see the moves as we work through this. At the top, we've, we've already decided we're not going the veteran quarterback route. Um, we did bring Stidham back in to ensure that we have some some depth, uh, veteran presence. Somebody's familiar with Josh McDaniel's offense on the roster. But we're, we're going to go get our guy in. And, and let's see, ultimately, who's available to us at the seventh overall pick. And and this is this is something that that I, I would be interested to hear from you know any Raiders fans. Do, do you move up? Do you covet Bryce Young? Do you covet C.J. Stroud, Will Levis? Do, do you move up to ensure, or do, do you play the weight game and, and see who falls to you? What, what would you do, Drew? Uh, I'm going to play the weight and see game. Okay. All right. And Heather, you, yeah. you share that sentiment with the Raiders? Yeah, hopefully um, Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud fall to, fall to us. They're, they're my top two quarterbacks. I think uh, Bryce Young, you know, he's coming out of favor a little bit because of the size. Uh, we're going to see what he weighs in at, on, at the combine, but the size kind of bringing him down the board. So we might could land a Bryce Young or a CJ Stroud because Will Levis is probably going in the top top of the draft. And the thing about the quarterback position, addressing the quarterback position uh, as, as opposed to going to a free agent route or, you know, the trade route, of course, th there's there's capital that you ultimately have to give up. Um, we we want to work with a rookie quarterback salary. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that that makes a difference. That creates flexibility on your roster to build it around the young player. This is not a one-year thing. This is not a one-year thing in Las Vegas. And then, of course, you know, as we're talking about Aaron Rodgers, uh, you, Drew, you mentioned it. We don't know. We don't know what it's going to look like beyond. We don't know what it's going to look like for 2023. We certainly don't know what it looks like beyond that, right? right. So you don't want to be left in the lurch. And, and let's say Rodgers comes in and you're, you're drafting 18th to 24th. Are, are you going to have an opportunity to get that? you know, franchise quarterback again, who knows? I mean, that may not necessarily be the case. You know what I mean? So uh, we want to we want to take advantage of that opportunity. So let's get started. Get it. Will Anderson, Stroud, Carter, Levis. There it is, bro. Porter. Porter. Go ahead, do it. Back off, off the board. Nah, you. nah, nope. They souring. They souring on Bryce Young. Reject, bro. <laughs> That's okay. What's we'll take on? it, bro. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know you mentioned it, Headley. There are people who have concerns regarding his size. We do not. We do not have that concern. No. Right? I don't know. He plays with this. The, he's always under control, the nervous yep. system. You know, he sees the entire field. He could move outside the pocket. To me, he's quarterback one. Uh, I, I'm not going to say I don't. he's not close because the size issue sure. is there. There's not many quarterbacks at his size dominating the league. All of these guys are, you know, Mahomes, Herbert, Allen. Burrow, bigger quarterbacks, but I think Bryce Young could buck the trend because of how well he sees the field and how poised he is on the pressure. That ability to reset, keep his shoulders square, bro, is something special, I think, bro. really is. It really is. All right. Bryce Young, it is. Bijan went 10th overall to the Eagles. Wow. So we're just going to leave Christian <laughs> Gonzalez up there like, like he ain't there, bro? Oh, yeah, he, 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 he went he went a little a lot later than we would we would have it. But there are people who, who feel like he's the third corner in this class, third or fourth corner in this class. No, well, don't necessarily agree with those individuals, but right. it, it's out there. It's 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 out there. All right. So we have our quarterback in tow. Let's take a look at what's on the board here. Uh, we, we talked about it. We, we made it a point to address the defense in free agency. Uh, re really a, a priority. Of course, we need to continue to do so, but we want to protect Bryce Young here, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We brought back Illuminor. I think Dylan Parham is actually your center, not necessarily Andre James. I think I think Parham is your long term solution at center. You play guard, and I, I don't think he's I don't think he has a functional strength to the size in order to play guard on a consistent basis at a high level. But I think he could be a really effective center. Um, you mentioned Colton Miller. He's the mainstay at left tackle. So some work to do, work to do. Illuminor, we brought back, re-signed. He can play guard or tackle. So that gives us quite a bit of flexibility. All right. We have Darnell Wright, Matthew Bergman, Jalen Duncan. Bro, you, you, already know. you already know, bro. Tom Michael Schmidt. Ooh, here, man. Michael Schmidt. You, you, you can't do that with what you just mm. said, bro. <laughs> but I know, I know that. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's uh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Luminor, you said could play guard and tackle, right? Right. We put we put him at tackle. Okay. Uh, Parham could play guard or center. We right. Could put him at guard. No. And, Wait. What you just Michael said? We can't. Schmidt. No. No. Don't do this to yourself. Michael Schmidt. No, bro. All right, man. Don't All do right. this to yourself, bro. Because to you, me, you, to, you, you, listen, listen. He's a better player than Darnell I, Wright. I would rather, in that scenario, I would rather have Parham at center and put Schmitz at guard, but we're not okay. doing that. that Go get you done all right and stop stop it, bro. Do the right but thing. Where, where, where do you have them ranked, though? I mean, they close. Okay. Okay. They <laughs> they, close to you? They, all right. They close. Yeah, they, they close. I just think – I see what you're saying, man, but now we're playing musical chairs with the offensive line, bro. Well, it wasn't a good group to begin with, so it, it wasn't. So, I mean, either way, you're you're improving. Mm-hmm. Um, Illuminor is the guy is is kind of the the wild card. That's the guy that that offers the flexibility, right? You know, he, he played tackle this past season. He did, right, if tackle. I'm not mistaken, and and he had a quality season. That's where we re up with him. So we we can leave him out there. We can leave him out there. Dang man, but every time I see John Michael Schmitz, bro, I just be thinking like, yo, it don't even matter the team, bro. I just see his name and I be like, yo. Can he fit somewhere? Yeah. For me, I have him as a first round grade. Yeah. Um, Donald Wright's more of a I would agree. player for me. All right, let, let's all right, man. You, you all right, go ahead and do it, bro. We'll we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, yeah. we'll figure it out. We're, go, we're going <laughs> yeah. we're going with just the talent. We're going with yeah. the talent, and, and he's our new pivot. And ultimately we, we can move off the incumbent, James. You know what I'm saying? That actually creates a bit more flexibility as far as salary cap if we decide to to, to do that ultimately. Um and, and and get back into the free agency uh, bag after the draft. However, however, we we still have quite a bit of draft left. So, you know, th- there's there's nothing necessarily ruling out us going back to the well as far yeah. as the offensive Don't line. So. Yeah. And and um, now I'm thinking about it too, Drew. Um, think about Bryce Young, shorter guy, needs to see over the line. Where, where do we need to protect line? Him? The interior, interior yeah, line. Interior. Yeah, you're yeah. right. That's that's, that's Sean yeah. Payton inside out. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, John Michael Schmitz is the pick, 38 overall. All right, we got a little bit of a wait here. A little bit of a wait here. Um, I, I, I do want to. I do want to put the brakes on things. I want to talk about, strategize a little bit about wh- where. Where are you thinking next? Look at these names tied in. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah. Uh, Darren Wallen to get his act together. So I think I think they need an, another interior guy on on the D line. Um, I think I they need a receiver. I it's think they, they could use another pass rusher, but we, we're going to have to have a conversation if you go with McDonald. That's a big conversation because we did sign Chandler Jones to that deal. He, but right, but right, he may right, not right, be right. that guy, but, you know, Will McDonald could be that guy. Some things to work on in terms of the run the run game. Um, we could add another corner. We could add another corner. Yeah, I'm looking at defensive I, I, line like Drew says, corner. Yeah. Um yeah, those two those two positions to me, yeah. biggest needs. Got Keanu, Benton, Tooley is out here. Um I, I like I think I like Mozzie Smith. I like Smith. I wish he would finish. Oh, yeah. But I but I like, I like Mozzie. Yeah, I like Mozzie a lot. Adabaware is another guy that we like. So yeah, we, yeah, we yeah I, I think I think I think it, we're, we're trending towards addressing the defense here. So let's let's see how it plays out. Deontay Banks, Darnell Washington, Mozzie Smith, Derek Hall, Tuli, Tuli, Kincaid, Will McDonald, McDonald is yeah. gone. Musgrave, Mark, Christopher Smith, Brown Charbonnet, Tyler. Keanu Benton, Gervin Dexter, Bergeron. Oof. Xavier Hutchinson, Riley Moss. Moss went a bit sooner than I anticipated. Okay. Nah, bro. Quite a few offers here. Let's let's cycle through. But that, that was insulting, though. It was insulting. Yeah, 49ers, you man. You didn't like that one. Nah, come on, man. All right. I'm not feeling these out here. Um, I think I think. Personally, and we'll just I'll just I'll just make mention of this. I think Will McDonald, when you pair him with Chandler Jones, mm. I think that's something that I would have considered doing. I would yeah. have gotten aggressive and moved up for Will McDonald 
so that you don't necessarily have to play Chandler Jones. Bevy of snaps, because I, I think he's at that point in his career. And Will McDonald may not necessarily be able to offer you a full bevy of snaps because of, of you know the fact that he needs to fill out a little bit more. He needs to continue to work on his strength. But the pass rushing ability, that agility, that quickness, the length, that goes a long way in terms of helping that 29th ranked pass defense. So um, that, that's my only thought process with respect to that. But based on who's available now, um, at the receiver position, you got Rasheed Rice, Andrew Tillman, Nathaniel Dell, Marvin Mims, Parker Washington, uh, Andre Carter. We, we talked with him about him earlier in the broadcast. Again, Ooh. looks like more Ooh. of a day three pick for me. You um, see what I'm saying? Out of Bawari. Ande. Ande. Yeah. 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 Ande. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very toe to Dion Henley. Julius Brantz is an interesting name as that well. Would be, yeah, he's interesting. And you know how I, I love Sidney Brown. Got Jammy out there too. Yo, Jammy's nice. Jammy's a baller. Yeah, um, got some players out for the Raiders. In, but, we, but we have Merrick, and we did bring in um, Chauncey Gardner Johnson. Um, Brents, Brents, and out of Barare are the guys that that jump out to me. What do you guys think? And oh, oh, yeah, Jalen Duncan's yeah, out there too. Yeah, he's out there. That's ridiculous, bro. He shouldn't be there. Jalen so Duncan's out here too. Yeah, that would solidify our offensive line. If it it most certainly there. would. Illuminor slides in the guard. Smiths is your center. Jalen Duncan's, Duncan's playing tackle along with Colton Miller. And he's working on playing right tackle. So he's working mm -hmm. on the switch. So. Look really good at the senior bowl. And this yeah. is this is the area that you take Jalen Duncan. Yeah, he's going to be gone. If you don't take him here, it's a wrap, bro. So it's him or Ade for me. We've seen Ade at the Senior Bowl. This guy, you know, he looks up to Aaron Donald, and you know, he might people might call him undersized, but the way he plays, the jump off the snap, the power through contact, and yeah, I, I like Ade a lot. I think we all do. So, what if we go Jalen Duncan and trade back up and try to scoop him? Yeah, I guess the question is, what, where, where are we trading back up? So we're currently at the seventh overall pick. Mm -hmm. um, do we do we take it to eighty, maybe? Yeah, let's take it to 80 and see what it looks take like. Take it to 80 and see what we can do in order to climb. Yeah. All and right, who's the backup plan? Say Audi does get picked and we don't get him. Who do you fill that defensive tackle position? Uh, I'm not sure. Tackle? I'm not sure that I would. Kobe go. Wooden. I love Kobe Wooden. I love yeah, Kyle I'm not Brooks. sure I would go D tackle at that point. Zach Pickens. Um, That's a, we we, we like get guys Zach later. Also. Yeah, 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 I, I, I think I would, I, on the board. I would wait on that. All right, let's 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 fix this off. It's a lot. You know what I'm saying? We 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 invested in the young quarterback, a smaller frame. We need to protect him. Mm -hmm. Not bad at right. that. Hooker, Laporta, Morris, Caillou, Blue Kelly, Jones, Overshown, Travis Hodges, Tomlinson, Steen. All right, Oluwatumi. Um. He's there. He's so, there. It's it's. Let's go get him, bro. Pretty steep climb. It's a twenty nine picks climb. Twenty nine. Can, can we? You want to? You want to run a little longer? Yeah. Let's go, go let's five. Little, go five. Let's give, it, let's give it a little bit more. Oh come on! Don't do it to me. It's gonna cost us. Yeah, it's a lot of holes on this on this defense too. Um. Yeah, but we but we did some work in free we did some work in free agency. So we did, we did. It, it's too steep. It's got too Andrew steep. Billings, yeah. got Andrew Billings, and there's still some guys out there we like. So it's it's, it's, it's a little too steep. All so right, let's, man. let it ride. Let it ride just a bit more. Maybe we get lucky. Um, I don't want to take a chance with Dallas, so let's see what Dallas is talking about. That's only nineteen. You can do it, bro. No, 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 no. All right. That's going to cost us. Two fifths. Two fifths. Let's see what we can get back. Mm -hmm. Give me a six. No? No. Nope. I said no, sir. All right. Well, I'll take a seventh then. Everybody on board with this. Yeah, I think I think he's a um, he's a game changer, man. Him with Max Crosby on that line, uh, oh, he could rush the quarterback that. from the inside and the edge. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think he's, he's got to make this move. He was All a right. menace at the senior bowl, man. Unblockable. All right. Let's do it. And that man got an edge to him that you're going to like. Another another player to permeate the, the team, bro. All right. Adabuare is the pick here. Again, really trying to bolster our, our pass defense and he can get after the passer and interior pass rush for sure. All right. We got a little oh, bit of a wait. We got a little bit of a wait. Hedy, your thoughts on what we've done thus far? Oh, I love it, man. We got the quarterback of the future and we got the protection. You know, I think the Raiders offensive line has been struggling. To me, they've been struggling. Some people are going to push back on that because Josh Jacobs did lead the league in rushing with 1,600 yards. But uh, they don't have any mainstays there. Like I said, Colton is the only real mainstay there. Um, now we added a John Michael Schmitz and a Jalen Duncan to fill that out, uh, brought by Luminor and uh, Parm. So uh, we have our five offensive starting offensive linemen right there. Protect Bryce Young, Devontae Adams. You know, he doesn't need much time to get open, but get him a little longer to stretch the field some more. Um, yeah, I love it, man. I love where the race is going offensively. And then defensively, we fixed it in free agency. And we got Addy right there. So I think we're going to probably get another corner coming up pretty shortly. I think it's corner or receiver there. Uh, Dontavian Wicks, Trey Palmer, Michael, Michael Wilson. Wilson. Michael Wilson. Go watch the video. Michael Wilson. Got an Wilson. interview about Michael yeah. Wilson. All hey, bro, right. you didn't think about it. You didn't look at you. Did you nah, look back at nah, corner, nah, bro? Nah. <laughs> the nah. size, the, the twitchiness in and out of his brace. Yeah. yeah. You know, he was able to and win deep. Then he's going to study under Devontae, too? Bro, nasty, bro. Listen, he, he, um, the only thing he got to do is stay healthy. That's it. That is it. If he stays healthy, this guy's going to be a, a, a star, man. And he, he does it in so many different ways in terms of being able to separate. He be he was out there. It was it was Kit Kat Kit Kat bar, bro. He was he was he was breaking people off, bro. Like it was breaking nothing. Breaking people off, huh? It was nasty, yeah. man. Didn't matter the the corner. It was small, big, short, tall, strong, weak. Doing Everybody got some, bro. Yeah, I think uh, the rest of these so picks. Felipe. We, the rest of these picks, we got we got to address this defense some more. Got to man, we went a little offensive heavy. Just how the board fell to us, we couldn't pass up right. Duncan Smith. And Michael Wilson. But it's gonna add some picks here. There you go. We're gonna we're gonna slum here in the late rounds. All right. Boy Mango on the board. <laughs> Big Mango. All right, so we're looking at the defensive side of the ball here. Uh, Daryl Luter, Rejan Wright. Uh, those are two very interesting names. D. Winters, Aubrey Miller, Marte Mapu, all very interesting. Drake Thomas, Jeremy Banks, uh, Yaya Diaby, DJ Johnson. Um, Lonnie Phelps is a guy that I think could, could be part of that rotation along with Chandler Jones. I think that's a good, solid one right there. Kobe sure. Turner. Kobe Turner. We got a we got a three tech already, so we 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 do we we mm-hmm. do, but but we 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 certainly could use some depth. Yeah, some depth. Good, um, good. So so where do you guys want to go? Which direction you want to go in? And I'll just do my due diligence as far as the rest of the offense is concerned. Um, go to corner good. real quick, just real quick. Uh... Luther. Yeah, I think Luter's I think Luter's interesting as well as Wright. Yeah. I think Wright's an interesting player as too. I I think Wright's the more physical. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gonna beat you at the point of attack. I think Luter's a little bit more savvy, smooth, hip pocket type. Um we got Gardner, we got Yeah, I, I we got Nate Hobbs, Meek Robertson, Jamel Dean. So yeah. we don't we don't gotta we don't gotta we ain't gotta... no, I, like Luter. I think we can I think we can improve a little better. You know. Amit Robertson, I know he's feisty, but maybe maybe we can move on from him and um or create more competition with him and uh Luther. I think Hobbs and Jamel Dean are the or the top two corners on, on top the two corners. Room. Yeah, I'm down to go with Luther, bro. You saying juice? Pardon me. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay with, with either player. I'm okay with either player. I mean, we, um, the, the consensus seems to be Daryl Luter. Yeah, let's go with Daryl Luter, man. All right. 
All right, we're back yeah. right back on the clock here. I, I don't hate the idea of doubling down or is on right. Uh, yeah, D. Winters, Aubrey Miller, Marte Mapu is really intriguing. Yeah, another linebacker because we signed uh, what's the name? Uh, Singleton and Walker. 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 Yeah. So it was a one-year deal. He mm-hmm. had injury concerns, so I, I'm not mad at uh, Aubrey Miller here. Mapu, you know, we liked him at the Senior Bowl. Also, this guy was flying around. Uh, great in coverage. So if you want a, more of a cover linebacker, I think Mapu is yeah. the guy. He's a former safety turn safety. linebacker. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Yeah, I, I like I like the flexibility he offers. Um, but again, you, we talked about the, the Raiders and their inability to tackle. Tackle. Yeah. Um, I, I actually like I actually like all three of those guys: Winters, Miller, and Miller. Mapu. And yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are all Wait. intriguing guys. We got, you know three of the next 10 picks right so oh, nice. so we don't necessarily have to to force the issue there and jones getting a little older we could uh restructure him okay uh yeah lonnie phelps was he was balling balling home in the whole game he caused a fumble he was all over the football field let's do it i know that's your let's guy drew that is yeah. my guy i like yeah, him let's, a lot let's, let's, let's... So so get so stand on the table for him and make the make the argument. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was I was thinking about um D tackle. I was just thinking about Cameron. Is it Cameron Young that's still is it Cameron Young or is it let me see who it is? Colby Turner. Oh, Cameron Young. Oh, uh, Cameron Young. I, I was thinking Cameron Young, just a bigger, stronger guy in there. I know we brought back um Andrew Billings. A- Andrew Billings, but I know we got the three technique. I was just right. just I was just it was going around in my head. I was just working it out in my head. Um but yeah, Honey Phelps, he he was okay. In the, in the practices, but some guys just, when the lights turn on, they turn into a different player. Isaiah Land was that guy, and so was uh, Lonnie Phelps Jr. I think it's Jr. They, they forgot to put the Jr. Now. I got you, bro. Um, but he, he was he was a menace, bro. He, he caused two turnovers. I think one was a fumble, and the other one was um, pass rush, a pass rush. Pass rush. Yeah, for an uh, interception, um, and he had some tackle for losses. So, yeah, he, he, was, he was active often. So um, that's a guy, you know, you could – you know, hey, Chandler Jones. And, and I think he plays the run better than uh, Will McDonald right now. And I know we were talking about him earlier, but, um, you know, obviously McDonald's at the higher upside, but let's be honest. But, yeah, go ahead, man. All right, Lonnie Phelps is the pick. See, ultimately, what we have available to us. Cameron Young is still available, as well as Rajon Wright. And all three of our linebackers yeah, are still gonna, available. We're gonna take one of them linebackers. That's that's gonna happen. It just we. I, I think I think um, Marte is the more coverage guy, lighter guy, uh, can move very well in space. Uh, and watch, watch we were watching the Senior Bowl uh, practices tapes in terms of the drills and stuff. He he just moved very well. I think he was he was dominant in terms of the the, the run. It was a seven on nine on seven, seven on nine. I forgot to say it. inside say run, it. yeah, inside nine, run, nine, nine on yeah. seven. Yeah, he, he looked good there, even though he's he was light in the pants. But Aubrey Miller was just a, a different beast. He was just different, yeah. bro. Um, and, you and, can feel it, and he was effective coming downhill. Not that he can't play in the pass, because I think he can. Uh, but in terms of being a thumper and and being a, an authority and a, and a and a mainstay in the middle of that defense, I think he's the real deal. And I think Deep Winch is kind of. It's kind of the kind of falls in the middle of those two guys in terms of what he can bring. Yeah, I like I like okay. D Winter's instinctiveness. I think he's a very uh instinctive linebacker, uh can read, react. Uh to me he's uh I compared him from the very start to Nicobe Dean, another undersized uh linebacker on the second level. I think Nicobe Dean's gonna have a, a good role in, in Philadelphia this year, uh next year. So D Winters reminds me of him. He plays he's a he's a football player. He probably the, the best football player out of those three guys, in my opinion. Uh, but Aubrey Miller and Mapu has has that upside. Yeah. All right. Who's I mean, so, 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 and I know we talked great, about great, earlier. Great analysis. Great, great analysis, but who's we, we was talking be? about tackling, though. Who's the best tackler out of those three? It's easily uh, Aubrey Miller, no? Yeah, you would think? I think so. He's a banger. He's a banger. Aubrey Miller's going to come up and hit uh, physical, tone setter, demeanor. The Winters can tackle too. He just he just does it a little differently. It's not not as much right. force. So like, yeah. he's, the he's violence. Just, it's, yeah. it's not the same level of violence. Yeah, I, I like yeah. them both. I like them both. Uh, oh, Jackson State, man. 
Yeah. And go with that nasty, bro. that that mentality, that that, Cha- yeah. that Chauncey Gardner Johnson mentality, and yeah, Oliver Miller. Let's, let's just keep adding it, bro. They was lacking it all over the defense. So. All right, Aubrey Miller. Back on the clock, man. Told you, told you, we're gonna we're gonna be busy. We're gonna be busy here at the end. We still have three selections. Yeah, I thought we was done, bro. <laughs> no, we had one left. Nah. Yeah, which is still on the board. We got um Rajon Wright still on the board. Yeah, I, I think I think Rajon Wright is probably the direction I would go in. And then maybe uh Cameron Young. Deep tackle, yeah. Get another, yeah. I like that. I like Warren McClendon. If you want to talk about depth, uh, I think we may have missed an opportunity here. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't come back to it. It was I with wanted, oh, Fabian Moreau. I didn't. Oh, yeah, uh, with, you know, with I Fabian wanted, Moreau. I wanted uh, um, Payne Durham, Davis Payne Allen, Durham. Davis Allen, oh, yeah, from Clemson. Yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think that was when we got Lonnie. I didn't go back yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Raider fan. So, so yeah, a little bit of a, a little bit of a missed opportunity. I think, I think the Lonnie Phelps may have thrown us mm-hmm. off a little bit. Yeah. Uh. So, but, but we're not gonna cry over spilled milk. So, let's go get Rajon right. Yeah, Round out right, that right. secondary. Wow. <laughs> Let's get it. So, yeah, you get the rest of my draft. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I don't, I do not believe that is That's a realistic true. trade. So, <laughs> look at us. Oh, we've seen your bowl heavier out here. I've been Bryce Young. Everybody else does a senior bowl. Yep. Wow. I didn't realize that. A lot of that. experience. Yeah, a lot of experience right now. You want to go and get you, um, what is that? Go to that receiver. It was Bryce Wheaton. Oh no, Bryce Ford Wheaton. Yeah, you can stretch the field. Oh, yeah. I've been hearing good things about your boy, Justin Shorter. Yeah, you know about him. Yeah, I, I heard he had the best um drop catch drop rate in, in in college. In college last year, yeah, he didn't drop much passes. Yeah, I can. I I, I want to say maybe four. Four or three. It was, it was Jalen Jalen Wayne showed me something out of South Alabama. Um, Ooh, Trey Tucker. Trey Tucker. Trey Tucker has that speed. Those quicks. He does have those quicks. Uh, Ooh. Mo Mo, Mo Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Yo, Mo Ibrahim. Yeah, I like that it. Trigger, I like bro. it. Bro, <laughs> trigger. What? I like it. What? Jake, Jacobs is on the franchise tag. He yeah, is on bro. the tag. All right, let's bring in Mo yeah, Ibrahim. Man. What? Somebody was slipping, bro. Concerned about that injury. Yeah, he was playing coming off um this year though. Had a good season this past year. He was basically their offense outside of um yeah, he was basically their offense mm-hmm. this past season. All right, last pick. Uh, who's the highest players they got right on the board? I'm just interested to see who they have up there. DJ Johnson. He ain't really busted great this past season. We was we was hoping in the senior bowl he would um senior bowl week he would show up. Um but he didn't really Mapu tackle. Cameron Young, Mapu. Ta- tackle from the Gators. Oh Mapu's still out there. Yeah. All I'll right. Mustafer Ajomo. Uh let's go Mapu just because he yeah. gives you um mm-hmm. that versatility from the position. All right. I really like this class. I think the only the only thing I that I may know. have done differently was was the Lonnie Phelps pick. I, I, I yeah. maybe not necessarily Lonnie Phelps, but I think we we, we needed to, we missed the opportunity to get a tight end. I think we missed the opportunity. Well, we we probably could have got the tight end, so, got Lonnie Phelps, got we probably could have got everybody, and we we would be done yeah. at this point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and Payton yeah. Durham was was the guy we were looking at. Yeah, initially. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, we, we talked about it. We talked about how, how much work needed to be done on the defensive side of the ball in particular. And we wanted to really bolster the offensive line as well as identify our uh, franchise quarterback. We, we, we were fortunate that the rest of the league, you know, decided to sleep on Bryce Young, perhaps because of that size. Uh, wasn't anticipating John Michael Schmitz to be available. Of course, he was. So, so we went in a little bit different direction. 
Uh, follow that up with Jalen Duncan. Um, if, if we're talking left or right, where well, we have Colton Miller, um, let's let's call it Dylan Parham for the time being. John Michael Schmitz, uh, our guy Jermaine Illuminor, and Jalen Duncan. That 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 That's is solid, that is bro. much yeah. much better offensive line. I, 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 yeah, I know we had that discussion, Darnell Wright or Schmitz, but making Smith and then coming back with a Jalen Duncan, I think that was the um, correct decision. I don't think we would have came back with a better interior offensive lineman. You know, I think, I think, yeah. you know, we, we coveted out of Baware. We, we really coveted him, yeah. uh, a three technique, put him in next mm-hmm. to uh, Billings, Billings and, and really uh, get that defensive down line outfitted. We gave up some draft capital. We gave up some, some fifth round picks there. And I think that may have been the sweet spot as far as the tight end position. Tight end position. All right. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. but we, we coveted out of Baware. Uh, Michael Wilson. Think that he came at great value. We needed to add a receiver, losing Mac Hollins. Uh, Daryl Luter impressed us down in Mobile, as well as Lonnie Phillips, Aubrey Miller, uh, Rajon Wright has a lot of tools. Uh, surprised to see Muhammad Ibrahim. I, I, maybe not surprised. Maybe not surprised. He's going to be a little bit of an older player. He's had a pretty long, extensive injury history, but he's a very, very good ball carrier at this point in the draft. Um, why not? And then Martin Mapu, Marte Mapu. He, he's a he's a bit of a tweener. In terms of linebacker safety, but but the the flexibility he offers again, we're trying to match up. We're trying to match up against Kansas City. We're trying to match up against the Chargers. Um, I, I think that's a unique piece there, and we see how he continues to develop. So I like it. I like it. Again, uh, I think we did miss that opportunity to get that tight end, but you know you, you, you're not able to get it all done all the time. So uh, we'll, we'll bring in a uh, we'll bring in a veteran. A veteran will probably yeah. be available yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah, um, it, it's it's a matter of cap space at this juncture. It's a matter of cap space at this juncture. But yes, yes, that that would have to be the approach. And I think, you know, I, I mentioned it. Uh, his name's escaping me. James, the uh, the center. You know, he's a cut candidate. So that that may be the the flexibility that we need in order to ultimately be able to outfit the rest of the team, get a few more pieces here and there. So, all right, that's gonna do it for our seven round mock draft for the Las Vegas Raiders.